Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be continuing our unit on evaluating expressions using rational and irrational numbers. Just like with the other lessons in this unit, we will not be doing um, using a calculator to do our work for this lesson. Okay, please jot down our first sample problem, which is estimate and solve the square root of 33 minus 2. Now, with our square root, that's going to be the first job, is for us to estimate the square root of 33. And remember that first step involves us figuring out which perfect squares 33 is between. Now, that is between the square root of 25 and 36. Now, the square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 36 is 6, which helps us to know that our estimate is going to be a decimal number between 5 and 6. Now since 33 is a little bit closer to 36 than it is to 25, I'm going to be guessing, um, my first guess is going to be um, 5.8, okay, a little bit closer to 6. And when I multiply here, got 64, carry the 6, 46, using my zero placeholder here, 5 times 8 is 40, uh, 5 times 5 is 29, I'm sorry, 25 plus 4 gives me 29. Now when I go ahead and add up my columns, sorry that's a little illegible, that is 33.64. All right, I'm going to just see that's a little bit high, a little bit above my square root of 33. So now I'm going to check um, 5.7 times 5.7 to see if that's just a tiny bit closer. Okay, so that is going to be 49 and 39 here. 5 times 7 is 35, and 28 plus the 3 I need to carry is going to give me 28 here. I'm sorry, 25 plus 3 gives me 28. When I add up my columns here, I'm getting 32.49. Okay, and 32.49 is just a tiny bit closer than 33.64. Okay, so what that tells me is that my estimate for the square root of 33 is 5.7. So now I'm going to write my second line of work where I'm substituting in 5.7 as my value for the square root of 33 and I need to subtract 2 from that. Now one thing I need to remember about adding and subtracting decimals is that my decimal point needs to be lined up. So 5.7 minus 2 is the same as 5.7 minus 2.0. Now I can go ahead and subtract, and my solution to the problem is 3.7. Okay friends, here is example number two. Please jot down this problem. This time our problem looks a little more complex. The problem says three plus two times the square root of 66. Our first step, again, is going to be to figure out the approximation of the square root of 66. I know that 66 is between the perfect squares 64 and 81. But I also know that um, 66 is much closer to 64 than it is to 81. Okay, because of that, my estimate is going to be much closer to 8 than it is to 9. Okay, I'm going to start with 8.1 since they are so close together. And I'm going to do 8.1 times 8.1. And then add up my columns. I got 65.61, um, which is pretty close. Um, I'm just going to double check 8.2. 
which gives me 67.24, and that is just a little bit too far um, uh, above. So this is going to be my closer estimate, 8.1. So I'm going to rewrite my expression now as 3 plus 2 times 8.1. Okay, remember your order of operations, which tells us that we need to multiply first before we add. So I'm going to do 8.1 times 2, which gives me 16.2, and now I'm going to take that plus 3, which I'm going to write as 3.0. Now going ahead and adding up my columns, put in my decimal, keep it lined up, my solution is 19.2. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now looking at our last example. This time um, we've got 2 times pi plus 29. Okay, luckily we've worked with pi before and we know that our estimated value of pi is 3.14. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 times 3.14 plus 29. All right, again, remember your order of operations, and we're going to multiply 3.14 times 2 as our first step. That multiplication should happen before addition. That gives me 6.28. Now I need to take that plus 29, which I'm going to write as 29.00, keeping my decimal points lined up for addition. 6 plus 9 is 15, carry the 1, and I get 35.28 as my solution. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time you should pause your video and in your math notebook complete the two checkpoint questions that you currently see on your screen. You're going to check both of those checkpoint questions in with your teacher and if they are correct, you will earn today's homework. Have a great day.